things like interference on the autobahns and new travel restrictions. I think what's behind this is that having decided that they're not going to be able to push the, the Western Allied garrisons out, they're now concentrating on West Berlin's ties with West Germany. Only yesterday, Mr. Kennedy got himself a respite, a breathing spell on Berlin when the West Germans and the East Germans signed a new trade agreement. And this new trade agreement supports my feeling that Mr. Khrushchev is not going to push things too far right now. No major trouble in Berlin, not until he's had a chance to sound out this new administration. Seems to me there is one thing that Mr. Kennedy can and must do, and that is to make awfully clear to Mr. Khrushchev that we mean business in Berlin. Let them know that if they try to push us out, it means nuclear war. I think if Mr. Khrushchev understands this, he's not going to take the fatal step. The danger is that if he doesn't understand it, there may be a miscalculation and a stumbling into war. Well, John, it seems to me that Kennedy pretty well did that in the campaign. He warned Russia that what is, or told Russia what his position was on Berlin, and in, in, in so doing, reassured Adenauer. Now, what I'd like to know, seriously, is what is West Germany prepared to do to help us? Will she help absorb the cost of keeping our troops there? Will she assume more of a burden of foreign aid? Well, she certainly won't pay any more to support our troops there. She can't do that. That harks back to the occupation. I think we were very ill-advised to go over and try to get it. She does have very substantial financial reserves, and I think, uh, I think the West Germans are willing to go a certain way to help us out on this. But we've got, to, we've got to go about it in the right way. Since John was out of Germany at the time of that mission that he referred to when we came over cap in hand looking for gold and I was pinch hitting for him, I just want to say that I think it was one of the most humiliating things an American ever witnessed, the idea of this vast uh, caravan, it was one of these huge brand new jets arriving with 25 people when three would have done it, uh, wives, mink coats, orchids. Is this any way to go cap in hand? And then they proceeded uh, to ask for money, which they knew perfectly well they couldn't get. I mean, if we do want help out of the Germans, this is not the way to go about it. There was another respect in which I thought 